Writing takes a long time. Like sometimes at the start, I'm like, oh yeah, I know what I need to write. And then by the time I get halfway down, I'm like, oh, I forgot. Like, what do I need to say again? I did not ask my teacher for help enough. A Love of Biology, there's so much content to get through. I honestly feel like it will save so much time if you just... And this was me. This, this was me because I knew the textbook. I feel like I knew the content inside out, but I just didn't do enough. Hi guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you all about A-level biology. I've got a bunch of tips for you guys on how you can maximize the amount of marks you're getting, like what grade you're gonna get. I'm gonna focus mainly on three key topics. So your lessons, your revision, and your exam. So I really hope you found this video helpful and let's get straight into it. Okay, starting off with your lessons. I think in your lesson, it's actually a really good idea if you've got your specification printed out next to you. So Every single A-level biology video will probably talk about the specification at some point and it's because it's so, so important. I'm sure you guys know, but it's got pretty much everything you need to know for your exam. I didn't do this, but I wish I had. I think try and print out the specification and actually just have it in your notebook so that you've literally got it with every single lesson that you go to, every single practical. You can always kind of refer back to that. Like if the teacher's talking about something that you're not too sure on, like is this gonna be in the exam, do we need to know it? You've got the specification right there. If you're more of a digital person, you can maybe like download it because I'm pretty sure it is a PDF. So if you've got that, save it to your phone so you can quickly go back and like have a look at it whenever you need to. In your lessons, as you can imagine, you're gonna be making notes. Some people take notes and never look at them again. That was me. But I know some people take notes and they kind of use their notes as their revision. So I'll try and help both of those types of people out. I think if you're one of those people that's just taking notes and you're never gonna look at it again, don't try and take note of everything that the teacher is saying. Like just kind of, I think, have your specification, you're, like, you're glancing at it every now and then to check that like, you're learning all the things you need to know about but then you don't need to make notes of every single thing the teacher is saying i think just make a note of the things that like you didn't know before or like it's not mentioned in the textbook so it's kind of like new information just make a note of like the extra things if you're one of those people that makes your notes for revision you might need to rewrite them that takes up a lot of time so if you can my best advice would be to use summarized notes that are already available online or use the cgp revision guide i think i know sometimes it helps Helps people when they write out themselves but it takes so much time and a little while there's so much content to get through i honestly feel like it will save so much time if you just take your rough notes in lesson to understand the topic and then go home and then use some already summarized notes i think if you can in your lesson try and have like your textbook on one side and like have your specification on another i know that might be a bit too much and it I don't know, I think give it a go and see if it works because obviously if you've not got the best teacher, like sometimes people are blessed with a really good biology teacher, some people aren't as lucky. If you if you don't really like, like your teacher that much, I think maybe have the really big and chunky A-level biology textbook that they give you, have that with you in the lesson so that if the teacher's not really making sense, you can kind of refer to that. And then also have the specification just to, again, check if like your teacher's going on the right lines. Another massive tip that I have is to pre-read for your lessons it makes the world of a difference if you're going into a lesson already knowing what you're about to learn you don't have to spend loads of time i i would always just watch like a quick youtube video before the lesson if you if you can like flip through the textbook just read that chapter or read that section of the textbook before your lesson you'll it will literally help you so so much i know for a lot of people they color like they highlight their specification and like color code it i recommend that as well to be fair anything that's visual is going to help you so so much so if you can print out your specification highlight the good bits the bad bits then as you get close to the exam you can kind of think like these are the good parts these are the bad parts i need to focus more on the bad parts if that makes sense when it's when it's like color coded you can vision vi when it's color coded you can like visually see it as well like what do i need to work on so yeah close to your exam you can probably work on more the red sections or the amber sections so i'm also going to touch on some of the mistakes i made when i did a level biology i did not ask my teacher for help enough i was one of those people like i was focusing so i did math biology chemistry i was focusing so much on maths I was working so hard on my, I was constantly asking my teacher for help when it came to math. My math teacher and I were like this. I was constantly asking my math teacher for help. But with biology, I didn't ask my teacher for enough help. I think if you guys are struggling with biology and you just don't understand it, I think just ask for help. I wish I did that more. I think I would have got a better grade in biology if I did that. Especially when it comes to the exam, like ask your teachers what sort of questions would they test us on or like, do you have practice papers for us? Like just don't be afraid to ask your teacher for help. I wish I did that more. So yeah, that is my biggest mistake from A-level biology. So when it comes to revision, moving on from your lesson. So imagine you've had the perfect lesson. You've pre-read, you've got your specification, 
specification there, you've color coded it, you've highlighted it, you've asked your teacher a couple of questions on how is this gonna be assessed in the exam and you've also made your summarized notes. That's like the ideal lesson if it, everything went to plan. To be fair, even if you did only one or two of those things, but you've already done so well, like there's so many people not doing that. Anyway, on to revision. You probably know this already because biology is biology and you have to cater your revision to the mark scheme and not the actual content which is so annoying because there were so many people i'm sure every single year there's a bunch of people who know the content inside out but they won't do that well because they just don't cater their revision to the mark scheme and this was me this this was me because i knew the textbook I feel like I knew the content inside out, but I just didn't do enough focusing my revision to the mark scheme. It's not even that I didn't do enough past papers because I did a bunch of those, but I just didn't focus my revision on like learning the mark scheme, learning the keywords that they wanted, learning how they wanted me to answer the questions. I don't think I did enough of that. Thankfully, you guys can learn from my mistakes and learn how to cater your revision to the mark scheme. So the best way to do this is, say it with me, past papers it's really really repetitive to do past papers over and over again but it's pretty much just what you need to do to really get it into your head a lot of people will kind of do a past paper figure out what they got wrong and then put that into their flashcards that's a great idea you should definitely do that or put it into your like summarized notes either way each time you're getting something wrong in a past paper put that into your revision like each time you're getting a question wrong a definition wrong a six mark question wrong just kind of adapt it a little bit and then put it into your revision so that you're kind of learning all of your mistakes i also think it's really important to try and save time where you can when it comes to biology um because there, there is so much to get through. You don't want to spend too much time making so many notes or making so many flashcards. There's already a bunch of flashcards available online. Like on Quizlet, there's so many, GCSE as well, there's so many like flashcards available. Um, it's the same with Anki if you guys have a preference for either one. Um, I'll link below a bunch of decks that have all of the exam boards. So AQA, OCR, regardless of what exam board you're doing, I'll try and find um, a flashcard deck that has all the things you need to know and I'll link them down below because you, you don't want to, I, I probably I probably spend more time making my flashcards than actually doing them. That's again, I think a mistake that I made. You want to spend most of your time actually like doing the flashcards. You also want to use visuals. So it's insane actually how much more we take in some form of information if we've actually got like a picture or an image attached to it. Something that you can start doing straight away is start to include like colors, images, diagrams, even like underlining things, putting things in bold. Try and incorporate that wherever you can into your vision because anything that's like visually different or like new or colorful is gonna help like that information stick a lot more. Similar to my last point of visuals, try and watch videos whenever you can. I think this is what I did when I did my biology. Like I wouldn't ask my teacher for help, but whenever I was confused on something, I would just watch a video. Video. There are so many like YouTube channels out there. There's, there's so many. I probably can't link all of them down below, but I'll link down below the most up-to-date ones because I know the curriculum changes every few years. So I'll try and link. I'll link below like a 2021 YouTube channel talking about all the different like A-level biology topics. And I think the best time to watch videos probably when you're like a bit confused on something or if you want to pre-read a topic, if you want to pre-read for a lesson. It's really difficult to know where to focus your revision and what to actually revise. So my best advice would be similar to what I mentioned before. When you've highlighted your specification, whether it's like physically printed out or you just highlight it on your phone, try and focus your revision on what's like red. If you're if you're really good at something, I know it's nice to revise it because you feel like I know this, I know that, but it's it's not going to help you for the exam. Focus your revision mainly on what's like red and amber. If you want a different technique to the specification one, something that Unjaded Jade recommended was to do this thing called blurting. So pretty much get like an A4 or A3 piece of paper, pick a chapter, pick a topic, write down everything that you know in like black ink and then use your textbook to go over it in like red or green and then write down all the things that you've missed and then all the things that you missed turn that into like flashcards, turn it into your revision, watch videos about it. Those are all the things that you didn't know. So you really wanna focus your revision on those things. When you're making a revision timetable, try not to just have it as like, oh, I'm gonna study biology or I'm gonna study maths. Try and actually pick a topic. So I'm going to study the cell cycle or I'm going to study photosynthesis. Try and pick specific topics um, and try and obviously pick the topics that you're not good at, the things that you're like getting like zero marks on, one mark on, so that you'll probably like improve those and then you can actually like get Get your score up if that makes sense and also if you imagine if you're studying like the bad topics regularly you'll probably get good at them eventually so make sure to update your timetable regularly what i did when i was studying was i just printed out a top um, a timetable online so google has like a bunch of revision timetables if you want you can make your own in google or excel or you could like 
literally draw one out if you wanted to and um, just make it like visible somewhere you can see all the time take a picture of it so it's on your phone and then just make sure to actually study the things that you're not good at so this one i'm not even sure on but apparently people use discord to revise now but basically um i didn't have discord when i was studying for my exams or my gcse's or a levels but apparently if you've got like questions or if you're not sure on things um people there's like discord a level groups I don't know if they're any good. I don't know if it's just like where people talk and like don't actually revise. But if you if you want something new and different, because a lot of the tips out there are very similar. If you imagine like specification, CGP revision guide, exam technique, like a lot of the things are the same. Try and have a look at Discord. I don't know what's going on there, but have a look, see if it's worthwhile. Moving on to the exams. So you've had your lessons, you've done great, you've done your revision, you've made your timetable, you could you focus on what you're not so good at. So what you need to do in the exam. Another tip from Anjada J, she said that she had a cram sheet, so make a make a page. If you wanted to, you could write it out, but I think printing it out is probably best. Like put like a word document of all the things that you need to know, pictures as well, because obviously that helps you learn it better. And yeah, print that out and then right before the exam, just have a quick flick through that. Don't you don't want to put too much pressure on yourself so don't like cram it full of too much stuff it's just all the things that you like always forget like if you're always forgetting like certain like definitions or you're always forgetting certain processes like put that onto the page and then just quickly have a read of that before the exam i think that's a good idea but again you don't want to overwhelm yourself too much and then another thing for the exam is timing timing is so important timing is one of those things that it gets better with practice like the more you time yourself doing practice questions practice papers the better i think you don't always have to time yourself when you're doing a full mock i think don't rely on yourself doing a full paper as the only time to time yourself if you're doing like a five mark question give yourself five minutes and literally put a timer on or if you've got a one mark question give yourself one minute and put it's usually one minute per mark but it, it depends on your exam you can always work it out by doing the number of minutes divided by the number of marks so when you're answering the questions in the exam it's so it's we've all done it. i know that we've all done it you basically you've read the question really quickly you thought it was something you start answering then you realize that you've actually not answered the question because you thought it was actually something else or something really similar this happens a lot i remember when i did geography they was always like describe and then explain like those were quite different and if you got them mixed up you'd miss all the marks but what i would do as i got close to my exam was i would read the question understand it maybe like underline a few things to try and like get certain words to stand out and then i would write three or four words normally like just a line and then i would go back and read the question again but really like properly check like am i actually answering it right this was more important with like the six mark questions or like the eight mark questions if it's just a one mark to find this or like label this do you know what i mean like if it's something simple you don't have to worry too much about rereading it but if you've got a long question where there's lots of marks at stake definitely reread the question when you've written your first line just to make sure that you're really answering the right thing if it's a longer question as well you can always like plan your answer a little bit and um, you can just like jot down a few keywords at the top just to jog your memory so that you are like reminded of what you need to mention as you go further down the page because writing takes a long time like sometimes at the start i'm like oh yeah i know what i need to write and then by the time i get halfway down i'm like oh i forgot like what do i need to say again when it comes to a level biology i know it is super hard because of the amount of content but you just need the the best skill and the best like tip that i can give you is just to stay organized if you're on top of your revision on top of your notes on top of your flashcards you will honestly be fine like you will get the grade that you need you just need to stay organized so i really hope this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching bye